Hello, as promised, this is a video to show how we are demonstrating Hyperwall at ISC 2023 in Amsterdam. As discussed, all the booth is connected to Hyperwall. This is a viewer in a portrait uh, uh, UHD 60 Hz. There are many other viewers all around. We are controlling everything from LED, LFDs, and also projectors. As discussed, uh, I've done the automation with the Zigbee buttons so I can control all the environment all around the booth and the effect is pretty pretty impressive. As you can see, I can select the logo with environment one or double click and change the content. Here we have what we call the main loop. This is the main content that we are showing all around the boot. Uh, but I have several buttons all around the boot and every and each corner has its own button that sales guys and field sales engineer were using to demonstrate different content. Let's move to the main attraction of the boot. Here we have big LED wall. As you can see, we are showing the main content, which we have done with the right resolution for this LED wall, but I can change the content, just double clicking my button. For example, I can show some content for control room, or if I go long press, I will show content with some automation going on. This is pretty impressive. A lot of people were interested on the automation and how we are driving the content. So we explained to everyone that Hyperwall is running the whole boot here and it's pretty, pretty impressive. Um, also, I've done some, some automation with um, NFC tags and QR code. For example, if I scan my badge, I will recall another environment, in this case, video, but I can also use uh, uh, QR code to recall another environment. As these are environment, I can change whatever content I want dynamically. So if a customer comes in and they want to see their own content, I can just connect the laptop to the Mavex, which is already going on, and I can recall it on the, on the video wall, on the LED wall, and the projectors too. Let's move to the other corners. Here, for example, we have another display portrait. I can click or double click or long press click. And uh, I have three different possibilities to show content on the display. Of course, again, this is all driven by Hyperwall with the APIs. There's also a small NFC tag, which I can just scan with my phone and that will recall another environment. Let's move to the bar type, the one that you see there. It's the bar type. Those are three viewers um, belonging to the same zone. And we are moving content around here. We are making automation. This is pretty cool. I can show it later from the user interface. Here we have two projectors. So these are the main attraction here in this projection, projection corner. We are showing, again, the main loop, but I can change it. So again, hide button here. One click, boom, double click. I will show what is coming out from that display, which is an interactive whiteboard connected to a Mavex, streaming to Hyperwall, and again, to the projector. I can also show um, the IR server. This is pretty interesting. This is our solution for sharing content into a meeting room. So people are just walking around, scanning the QR code, and sending their content to the projectors. And they can do it all around the booth because everything is connected to Hyperwall. Um, the same is here on the main one, on the big projector. We have the whiteboard. Again, another high button, which I can press to change the content. Double press, and we got the whiteboard. Or long press, and we got the high server. This is very impressive. All the people who walk into the booth they were all interested on how we are driving content, how we are managing the APIs, what is Hyperwall. So it was really, really cool. This is the last day of the event, but I can tell you that it was pretty crowded and everyone who stepped into the booth heard about Hyperwall. So I'm happy and you should be proud. Here it's another very nice installation. We are showing um, a meeting rooms, a real one using uh, uh, Microsoft Meets. Uh, meeting rooms and um, the system is connected to a Mavex. So we are taking the output from, from the Intel NUC. Again, we have automation here as well. 
if I want to change the content, I just press one here, boom, or I double click and I go for another environment or long click and I will show a simulation of a proper meeting room going on here. Again, this is all Hyperwork, so any content that is registered on Hyperwork, I can show it here. And it's pretty impressive. When you show people that you can take something from the control room and show it here uh, with the right scaling or scaling it up, if they want to see something from Google Maps, for example, we have the browser running, it's impressive. And not just for the customer or the system integrator, but also internally, our colleagues are really, really, really impressed. And uh, as everything is controlled by here from the control node, I can dynamically change the environment uh, or create some nice automation like we showed before. Uh, this is also pretty cool and people, people are really interested on, on how we are doing this. Secondary control node, of course, um, it's in the technical room. So uh, everything is there. We are using KVM here just to demonstrate the user interface, but the system are you know, fully redundant. There is a Mavex there. I'm using that to connect whatever sources that people want to see on the big screen. For example, yesterday um, there was um, a customer, they wanted to see a camera. So I created this environment with a camera feed coming from a, uh, a webcam connected to my laptop. We are not allowed to use IPTV's cameras here because of the GDPRs, but that's, that's another story. So nice setup, QR code, NFC tags, bottoms, everything is working. Application, I can recall all the environment from my application. Yesterday I went for a quick lunch. Here outside of the corner, someone sent me a call. Can you change the content here? Of course I can do it. I've done it from my phone. And yeah, that's, again, it's a good story for, for everyone. Thank you guys. Thank you again for sending us the licenses. I think that this is the best way to show our technology and your software and wow i'm happy because also i'm personally receiving a lot of uh, compliment for what we have done here again it's just a toy these are just really toy zigby buttons but the effect wow people are just you know curious about it and when when you start to demonstrate the technology they easily get bored because it's an LED and everyone has it, then you start to talk about the cure of the LED and they like it, they start to understand that there's something more, then you start to show the automations and the content and they understand that that's not uh, just an hardware, but it's a full solution. 